video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Matt Hummel. Yes, Matt Hummel's last season maybe didn't have the absolute best of seasons for Dortmund. Of course, Dortmund, not an awful lot of them had too great a season last time around. But still, coming into this season, he still was a little bit shaky. But in recent times, he was really been able to find his form and has been playing some beautiful defense. He's been a wall at the back and he's also been playing the ball out of the back since sensationally. He's definitely returned to his very, very best, and you know that that means he's been given a sick player in FIFA. And at only 26 years of age, he's still definitely got plenty of seasons on him, plenty of growth left in him, and we're going to take a look at him in 2025. Here are Matt's Hummel stats. 86 overall, of course, as you can tell. And now we look at the physical and the mental. You've got the interceptions that are sensational reactions. Strength is right up there as well. Decent pace for a centre-back as well, around mid-60s. I think you'll take that with a lot of pretty good and pretty tall centre-backs like Hummels. Anyway, ball control and dribbling. Heading accuracy is brilliant. Marking, slide tackle, stand tackle, it's all there. Short passing and long passing is sensational. He's got decent shot power about him as well. Only 26 years of age. It's definitely four or five seasons worth of absolute growth in him. Six foot three again. The speciality aerial threat, tackling, tactician, strength, a complete defender, the long pass to trade as well, beautiful from playing the ball out the back, and a potential of 87. So let's go right now. Let's begin the journey to 2025 with Matt Tummels. Will he be able to get to maybe a little bit higher than that potential of 87? Will he be able to hopefully maybe even grow at all? Of course, you can see he has not done this time around, but oh well, that's a bit of a dud season. He's still very happy morale, so very happy at Newcastle. I don't know if you'd want to change the, change the scenery, mate. We could do with another centre-back. But anyway, 86 overall, 27 years of age, good form or okay form. And I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's not much to be said. It's a bit of a nothing season. I'm not too concerned, but at the same time, of course, you definitely want to see a little bit more growth early on in the first couple of seasons. But how about this time? Again and again, it's the same damn season. 86 overall, he keeps getting better with his form and better with his morale, but I swear, like, at the same time, that's not transitioning into any growth, unfortunately. Nothing in the mental, nothing in the physical, nothing technical, nothing being shown. I can't see any stat that has gone up. He's two seasons by and still no growth. At this point, I'd even take it just a couple of stats, not even the overall. Come on, Matt Tummels, give us something before we skip ahead. It's a plus two overall. He's actually dropped, wow. All right, well, this is a bit, this is a bit bizarre. He's dropped by his physical, one in his physical. I, I do believe he picked up a slight injury, so that's understandable, I guess. But he's gone up by two in his overall, and he's only gone up by two in his short passing, two in his marking, three in his stand tackle, and three in his slide tackle. That in itself, apparently, is enough to warrant a plus two overall increase. He's now not only matched his potential, he's gone beyond it. That came out of absolutely nowhere. I guess you could say he made up for the last two seasons of no growth, but there you go. He's now 88 rated before we skip ahead to 2025. That's crazy. And so here we are, 2025 with Matt Hummels. He was able to get over his potential in the third season. Now, has he been able to get better than that? Has he stayed the same? Has he dropped off? Let's find out. What's that rating in 2025? He has dropped down by a fair bit, actually, at 36 years of age. He's now 84. He dropped by two in this one season. So if it wasn't for that, he would be exactly at his overall where we left him in the last, uh, in, of course, where we started this, where he was 86. And now, unfortunately, in this final season, he's dropped way down. 84 overall. He has not been able to maintain as well as certain other players. But hey, that happens from time to time. Not everyone's going to be able to beat everyone in the series. We're not going to be able to continually top the next player. But still, 84. He's all of a sudden gotten super shit miserable at Newcastle, and maybe I don't blame him, but $2.6 million worth of value. Still for an 84 rated centre back, it's a bit crazy. And you still look at some of the stats that he has. He's in the 90s with his stand tackle and slide tackle. 94 heading accuracy. That's way better than what he's got right now. But unfortunately, things like physical and mental has really dropped off in quite a big way. I guess he's a player for the history books, but still Matt Tummel's a sensational centre back. And you will definitely, like we've seen, been able to, you will definitely be able to get a little bit of growth maybe within the first couple of seasons with him if you still want to pick him up. If you're looking for that real uh, top, top centre back to get for your big club, then you can go ahead and try it and try out Matt Tummels if you think he'll fit the bill. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to keep it up in the comments down below. Any other plays you would like me to do, be sure to leave them in there. And until next time, my name's the Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the TMB Masterbucks merchandise store and have a good one. Bye-bye.